Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Let's head to the east of Bohai Castle to see if we can find Yuan Shao's new fortress. You might also notice to the north of here, there's a pretty big wall up there. I'm assuming that that's the Great Wall of China, though I don't think any NPC ever mentions it. Well, it wouldn't be my first LP that took me to the Great Wall of China. Before defeating those bandits, we gained a level, a little more soldiers, and we learned the Shui Lei tactic, which is the level 3 water elemental damaging tactic, but unfortunately it's still single targeting, so it's not really that extraordinary. I mean, it is stronger than before, but other than that. But alright, looks like we found some sort of fortification over there, or over here, so yeah, why don't we uh, get ready? to see who's home there. I want to move Ji Ling's equipment over to Liu Fang here. Although I don't need to move the power pills around. I don't need Liu Fang to use those. We'll just get these here. And, oh yeah. Whew, I almost forgot to rearrange my formation there. Oh, no, not that. I don't want uh, my tactician in the last slot, just the six, will do. Well, that's direct. For boss time against Zhu Xiao, Yan Liang, and Wen Hlen. Okay, so Zhu Xiao is by far the most dangerous of all the generals because he not only has the Yan Rei tactic, but a lot of intelligence to use it with as well. So you want to watch out for that. So what I want to do is, oh yeah, and the other two guys there, they have well over a thousand soldiers and really good strength. I would like to recruit them when available, even though they do have relatively low intelligence, they're still really, really good. So I'm going to try and, well, kill them first and then I'll recruit them. So let's go with power pills on Zhu Show there, and then we'll use... Yan Rei. Unfortunately, no water tactics can be used for this battle. Although Yan Rei is probably a little better anyway. Okay, so we'll go like that. Then a couple more Yan Rei. That ought to be good enough. So yeah, what happens in the game is whenever you get to the power of 10 threshold for uh, new recruits, the game will usually give you generals that ha that exceed that threshold, but are really bad in one or two stats there, especially compared to your current generals, or your previous generals, before uh, ex exceeding that threshold there. So when that happens, you pretty much just have to suck it up and deal with being terrible in a stat or two. And then as you move along, you'll find generals who exceed that threshold and have really good stats to back that up. Then you'll get to the next threshold and so on and so forth. Ow! Yeah, unfortunately we can't use Wu Jian in this fight, so we just kind of have to eat the Yan Rei when they hit us. Though we should be able to kill or nearly kill Zhu Zhou in this round. But we gotta get our turn first in order to do that. There you go. All right, got him. Easy enough there. Okay, so I think I'll use one more power pill, but that'll be all. Okay, so yeah, we'll use that on Wen Wen. And then, let's see. Well, I could use Yan Rei. But I think what I'll do is I'll use Fu Bing, actually, on Yan Liang there. I don't think I need to use any more power pills than that, though. Uh, let's see, Guan Ping, I don't think I would want him to use it. His intelligence isn't, isn't that good. Basically, to nearly guarantee the accuracy of Fu Bing, I want my user to have 100 or more intelligence than the target. You'll have a 15 and 16 chance of it succeeding there. So we'll see how that all plays out. You got new supporters. 
and you deal a little extra damage with them. Hooray! And if I recall correctly, the second hit can auto-target to another one if you kill the first one. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, why don't we go after Wen Wen and see if Fu Bing is still active. Now you notice it might have fallen off, but it didn't say anything. So the only way to know is by attacking and seeing if it still if it's still hanging around. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we got the extra hit going in there. But the thing did not there. And even though, yeah, nothing happened there, but yeah, you just gotta deal with that. Though, as you can see, by the time we got to that point, the battle was practically over anyway. But all right, we got him. So let's see if anyone's left at this fortress. No one, apparently. Oh, well, there's uh, someone up here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I don't know you either. Hmm, a silver key. Didn't we pick one up recently? We did! So, yeah, why not use that here in order to progress with the plot? Well, you're free! Zhao Yun. Oh, yeah, I think that... Wasn't that that guy that we met at the... The bar early in Chapter 3, I think it was? Guangzhong Castle, huh? Oh, Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, you're welcome. But now, I do want to recruit those generals as soon as possible. And unfortunately, the only headquarters around is back at Nanyang, so we gotta go all the way back there. I probably should have brought Ji Ling back into the party. But this is fine. I won't... Yeah, it's not, nothing to worry about. And actually, one thing I want to do is move some of my power pills around. Let's give them, or Ji Ling's power pills to Zhang Fei and Zhou Kang there. Since we, oh, did I only use, uh, oh, we got the letter, that's why. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I used three power pills with uh, Zhang Fei there. Uh, yeah, I did, but I forgot about the letter there. So we're going to have to hold on to that for a little while there, but that'll be fine. Okay, so we got all that going. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking if I want to hold on to G-Ling, actually. I think I'm just gonna leave him as is because we're gonna be recruiting uh, more generals very soon anyway, and Lu Feng has nearly as much strength, but I, I definitely want to hold on to Lu Feng for his intelligence there. So there's not too many people like that at this point in the game. Okay, we've made it back. Let's, uh, yeah, rest up here. I'm not gonna restock on power pills yet. I think we're okay there. But I do need to get back to Nanyang. Normally I might use a gold wing here, but since I'm gonna be walking around trying to recruit new generals anyway, I might as well walk all the way back to Nanyang there. Might be uh, a good idea to save, too, if I... Well, yeah, when I get there. But yeah, we're going to be going back to Nanyang a lot in this chapter. Pretty much going to be our base of operations for quite some time. Would be nice if I could actually run into some generals. But until then, let's get back home. Uh, let's see. I still have all of my TP, right? Yeah. So yeah, now we're holding on to a lot more uh, TP since we have more intelligence on the tactician there. So yeah, Jiling, your services will no longer be required. Let's get rid of you there. And then I want to go somewhere else to look for the new generals. And make sure you've got a couple steeds for doing this as well. So what I want to do is 
let's get outside, and I'm gonna go into the direction of Chapter 5, actually. Because you can still run into some Chapter 4 enemies. Although right now, I think I'm in Chapter 3 still. As far as, like, where the enemy domain actually happens. Okay, so we got a house here. We'll just leave that alone. But if we go over here, we have some hills. And you can still run into Chapter 5 enemies, or Chapter 4 enemies here. Because, And I want to recruit the generals here because there are no hills in Chapter 4. Or, well, where we were before in Chapter 4. Just some forest. So this will give me as many battles as I can get as quickly as I can find them. But can we recruit Wen Wen and Yan Liang? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!